you. We are a little scattered, but it's good. So lots of things are happening today. Um, one, we have this awesome collection. Is, is this, what is, what are we calling this collection? This is a requested cut file collection. Requested cut file yes. collection. Mm -hmm. um, so there are lots of awesome pieces in this. And I actually love requested cut file um, launches just because of how like random they are. Um, so that's super fun. So we have that. Uh, we're actually going to do one of the projects today, uh, which is also fun. Um, on top of everything else, Rachel's, we, we're a little bit late because Rachel's mother called. Um, no, no, no. What's the first reason why we were late? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll get to that. I'll get okay, to the first sorry. Reason. Oh, sorry. The second reason that we're late is Rachel's mama called and uh, she had locked her. She had gone outside. I think a, a relative or something came to the house and she went outside and locked her keys in the house. So we had to take care of that because we can't let her out. It's it's hot and humid and horrible. It's hot. She can't sit out there for over no. an hour waiting on us. So we so have to take care of that. Tanner's taking her her keys. Yes. So yeah. shout out to the best boss ever who'll just go above and beyond like that. Hey, Rachel, can you turn my monitor on for me over here? I sure can. Yeah, one second. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If I had your one wonderful long arms I could just reach it but I can't oh, yeah. yeah 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 so the the first reason that we're late is Tanner comes and he's like hey walk over with me uh, our printer that we have just found and loved and uh, they're amazing is actually our neighbor here they're across the street in two one house town two house town whatever anyway um so we went and got our books for design make sale that are finished uh, we have all of them printed and ready now, and I know that um, Courtney and Blake have worked so hard, like getting all of the the mailers already pre-addressed and everything. So now we just have to put them in the mailers for you guys and send them off. So be excited and expectant, all of you guys who um, pre-purchased the Design Make Sell course and who qualified for these books. They're gonna be on their way. They so look exciting. so good. Oh, yeah, like we literally. Literally, I was like cutting the boxes open on the way up here to, to look through them. So that's super fun. Now, I don't know, maybe, I'm not gonna go through them. We've got lots to do. Anyway, I'm very excited. I'm excited for you guys, because I'm sure you are as excited as I am. Sorry for the loud bang. Okay, what's going on? What have we got going on? Well, Becca, we already have like 100 people tuning in. We had a lot waiting on us. Because oh, good. I we know we were wait. a little bit late. I'm sorry, guys. but. These projects are awesome, and they're kind yes. of all over the place. Me and Becca were talking about that, how they're kind of miscellaneous, but yeah. I think that's really good in a collection every now and again because it gives you all a ton of, you know, diversity to be able to have a ton of different crafty adventures. So, yeah. Agreed. Okay, so, uh, you know what I want to do? I want to start out actually on the website today looking at the cut files, and then we'll look at the projects. That sounds fun. Change it up a bit. I'm for that. Okay, okay. okay. Let me move some of this stuff around here. Um, well, and look what I've got here. I was downloading a font for today. This is how scattered we are today, guys. It's not my favorite uh, way to be. Let's see here new we're gonna go to new and all of our wonderful cut pals should be here who has already looked at them what what's your favorite what have you got going oh look at this pelican <laughs> that is adorable oh the pelican is just yes oh. so cute i don't know who requested that but it's adorable um first holy communion i think we have a couple of religious like catholic sort of ish um cut files because we've had several requests for it. I know that Sin was also requesting those, so she's probably happy about those. Yeah. So the first Holy Communion, Grilled Chill and Refill, that's adorable. Hang in there. Oh, that's so cute. Little panda. This is my favorite. Be happy. Be happy. You guys know I love rainbows. And Becca, sorry to cut you off, but yeah, cut me off. Uh, someone said, I got here late. What was that book she was holding up and what is it for? The book is our design, which I've just thrown it in the floor, so I'm not it, gonna No, take it's back okay. Out. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Um, it's our design make sell book. So one is our design book, and one is the sell book. And design make sell is a course that we put together um, for anyone interested in taking their die cut machine and creating a business with it. Um, so there is it forty one classes. Yes, there are forty one classes for pro tier. 
Um, and it just covers everything from setting up uh, like selling accounts, picking your niche, um, helping with, uh, I don't know, basically your the look and feel of your logos and colors and, and that sort of thing. And uh, what, what sells, what doesn't sell, how to set up your um, craft show space, how to take beautiful photos, how to create SVGs and handwritten fonts. And I mean, just so many different classes um, that is really great for somebody wanting to turn their crafting hobby into a profitable business. So those books uh, were promised to all of our wonderful um, uh, members who per who pre-purchased the course. Um, so those are going out. It's it's a very detailed book that breaks down each of those courses and um, helps you with note taking. I'm a note taker, so I love that um, and all that sort of wonderful stuff. I don't know what I've done here. Anyway, hopefully that answers your question. I think so. Design makes so. It's a fantastic course. Let's go it's back fancy. to this because I don't know what I've done. Okay. Are there any other questions? Nope, not yet. People are just naming the ones that they love. The seahorse and the dove people have loved and have used already. Oh, yes. Look I at love, this little whale. Oh, my goodness. It's so cute. I love the seagull. It's named pigeon. That is incorrect. That is a seagull. I was going to say, I really love this pigeon one, but I'm a little confused. Yeah, that's a seagull, but I love the seagull one. The lovebirds. So he's got like little the lovebirds? Well, of course I do, Becca. It's yes. a bird. Yes. Grill Master, this would be cute for a uh, Father's Day project. Crazy Plant Lady, so cute. I love that. And the dad, like Super Dad, that's adorable. I love these floral ones. The Crazy Plant Lady and the Welcome to My Garden. Yeah. I, honestly, guys, I haven't really looked at these. We've been so busy with so many other things. I mean, I looked at them long enough to pick out the one that I needed for uh, my project. But So I'm sort of looking at these with you guys. Look at this crab. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you actually did a project with the crab. <laughs> He's so cute. It's He's adorable. so cute. I love the colors that they're using in those, like the pastel, like crazy plant lady. Like they're kind of just yeah. really pretty colors. I love it. So mm -hmm. pretty. Did you see the little mermaid? Oh. Where's the little mermaid? Oh, oh yes, yes, so yes. You cute. made it behind you in a yes. beautiful. What do you call that? Like a it hooded is towel? It is a hooded poncho. So poncho? cute. Yeah. So cute. So fun. Um, and then we have the rosary. So that's part of that collection. Um, our panda. My kids are going to love that. Happy Father's Day with these ties. That's actually super cute. Um, I'm totally going to make my dad a... Uh, a card with the Superman symbol with the dad. Yeah, he says all the time that he's the closest thing to Superman on this earth. Oh, I'm I like, love uh -huh. that. I love that. Yeah, you need to stroke that ego. Oh, I do. Yeah. You know, I do for sure. And then we have uh, our Juneteenth freedom, uh, celebrate freedom, uh, cut files, super fun. We had some requests for those. I was really excited that we got to to do those. What does this wheelbarrow say? I can't even see it. Let's um, it, it says a <laughs> garden grow. Will you read it now? Yeah. A beautiful garden is a work of... Oh, that is so cute. I love that wheelbarrow. I would have butchered it, but yeah, that's it. And in the project, guys, I want you to pay close attention to this because in the in one of the projects that Becca's going to show you today, I use the uh, flowers and the greenery <gasps> out of the, the wheelbarrow. Yeah. So. Guys, that's one reason I love SVGs. Well, and sometimes pings too. You can just cut them up. I love taking bits and pieces of specific cut files and then, you know, merging them with other cut files and making my own designs. And you can honestly use this wheelbarrow for lots of things. You could contour out the words and the hearts and then put other things coming out of it, uh, which would be adorable. So anyway. And Becca, yeah. Miss Andrea says, are these available for purchase? Um, so they are available to all of our members, both monthly and yearly members of Makers Gonna Learn have access to all of our cut files um, and all, all of our pre-existing library of cut files, which is probably around 4,000 cut files right now. Um, and then we update them almost every week. So we have um, a font launch every month and then two cut file launches every month. So, uh, you know, you're getting all of this added benefit, added bonuses every single month. Um, and I think Rachel has, pro yep, 
dropped a link to our membership. Um, so I did mention fonts. Our yearly members have access to all of the cut files and all of the fonts, in addition to three free e-courses that help you learn design space and um, help you with building a business through your die cut machine. Uh, you also have access to a free commercial license, which legally um, enables you to sell. It, it helps with copyright issues that might be there with uh, selling projects from our cut files. Um, and then you have access to our private Facebook group as well, which is amazing. Um, so much support, so much community, uh, just a fantastic private Facebook group that I, I don't know anybody who doesn't love being a part of it. Uh, I feel like it's a it's part of my day. Like I always go into the Facebook group and see what people are up to, see what they're crafting, uh, what inspiration I can draw from other people there, um, or how I can help other people there. So I just really love it. Um, anyway, so yes and no. They are sort of for sale, but not really. You really need the membership. <laughs> um, okay, so we just kind of scrolled through those. Um, if we don't have any questions about any of these specific files, then I want to just jet into talking about our projects so that we can make um, make one of the projects. Yeah, yeah, I'm for it. Super fun. Yeah. Not about today's stuff. Becca did a tutorial on feather earrings and used some offset scissors. Do you know what they are called and where to get them? This is hysterical. We just had this conversation. Um, I think I answered your comment too. On YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. I honestly don't even know what scissors I was using that day. I'd have to go back and look. They were Fiskars. They were Fiskars orange handled um, offset scissors. But I don't, I can't find a link to them because they're all like kitchen shears. And I know they're not kitchen shears. But Courtney buys them because she cuts a lot of fabric like on a table. Yeah. So the offset means she can cut, you know, like on a table without, I don't know. She uses them. I don't know where she got them but yeah they're just fiskers brand which we love fiskers i will try to research that if i can remember afterward um and figure that out yeah. want to watch one of your videos on pairing fonts both back and tanners are over an hour long which one would be the best for a not newbie but always learning i think i have one that's not alive oh good let me check perfect rachel will drop that to you um, and uh, let me see. Are there any other questions? Uh, yeah, right here's one. A video? Yep. Okay. How to pair fonts flawlessly, Miss Carol. Perfect. And also, Miss Carol, obviously, when we have those hour-long ones, they're they're generally live. So, you know, we do like to do about an hour. But you can, you can scroll through um, and kind of get an idea of, uh, you know, uh, the format of our lives are pretty much the same. Um, we... Uh, we'll chat a little bit, you know, do our supply list, that sort of thing. Yeah. It's not um, like it's an hour of teaching. We, yeah. we wouldn't do that to you. Right. So you can just scroll through too um, and get the education there. Anyway, I think Rachel dropped that for you. So that's great. Let's talk about projects. Which one do we want to start with? Ooh, let's ask them. Yeah. Which one do you want to start Guys, with? Guys, which one do you want to start with? There's some that are kind of flat and one's behind Becca. Flat. Yeah. So it's like it's, flat Stanley. Do you remember flat Stanley? Was that a thing when you were a kid? No. <gasps> if oh, because someone... you were homeschooled and went to private school. Which I did too, but I had a friend who sent it to me. Oh. So it was one of those things. Yeah. Flat Stanley is one of the... It's like a school project where it's like this flat paper baby doll that they color and everything. And then uh, you send it to all these people all over the U.S. They take selfies with it and like what? landmarks in the cities. And then like it documents Flat Stanley's little trip around the world or wherever you... It Can was you just sent. imagine if one was sent out during Corona? Heaven oh, above. God, that's disgusting. <laughs> Flat anyway, Stanley. so, like, you would send it to me, and then I send it to somebody, but you don't know who it is, and then it, it just ends up getting back to the, the person who sent it out to begin with, which is... Flat Stanley. Stanley. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> A lot of people are commenting that they know about Flat Stanley. Sorry, I was... Because we're probably in the same... Uh, so sheltered, guys. I was so sheltered. Seagull is what we're hearing. Seagull. Yep. Or pigeon, as... It's referred to. Oh my gosh, it's not a I gotta fix that. No, that is not to, a We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. So this is adorable. So cute. And guys, Rachel labored on this for you guys. You don't even know. No, it was just because design space. I've yeah. never been so aggravated with design space and I have she, worked exclusively with, with, you know, like on a cricket machine for four years and I was ready to throw it out the window. I was so mad. Well, and here I am like zooming through my projects on design space, like having zero issues at all. And I'm like, 
Guys, I, I updated my laptop. It was not my laptop. No, I was it wasn't. Like, what? What so is what happening? Was happening was Rachel likes to save her projects, which everyone should uh, save should save her projects as she's going along, so that nothing gets messed up, you know, or lost any changes that you've made or anything. Yeah. So she saves them periodically throughout um, her design process, and. Uh, she would go to save it and it would say it was saving, but it wasn't anywhere. It wasn't like saved under the iCloud saved projects yeah. or the on this device saved no. projects so or anything. For all I knew, whenever whenever I was done with that project and tried to move on to another one, my all of it would be lost. Right. You know? So it was the next day, right? It wasn't even that day. No. Monday was the the biggest waste of a day I've ever had. For both it, of was it was ridiculous. Horrible. Um. Yeah. So Tuesday rolls around. I think I don't know. We were right here. She pulls her computer up and she was like look at this and she rolls it around and there's like i'm not kidding this is no exaggeration at least 12 saved projects yeah not not just from <laughs> trying to seagull like not just from what i was working on but for me trying to save it over and over to see if it would do anything and they all popped up the next day i almost died then on top of that she starts to make this project out of chipboard right we're going to be great. No big deal. Well, the maker that we're using, we're having some issues with some of our makers, by the way. I'm just being completely 100% honest. Um, some of them don't like to take the knife blade. Some of them have to be calibrated the in, or every single time that, you, that a printing cut is done. Just some things like that. And so we have them labeled and try to use the one that works best for that specific project. Um, and so she's doing chipboard with the knife blade in there. And it just stops like in the middle yeah and says i that couldn't go do jammed. anything productive yeah. it just said knife blade is stuck and i would have to lock and then it wouldn't cut all the way through i probably wasted an hour yeah an, at well, least maybe longer yeah just and, sitting there and trying to let it cut through and then it would like automatically start back up but the problem was it, it's like I, I feel like it thought it was on the first layer the entire time yes and so it would never add more pressure to cut down deeper mm-hmm Total nightmare. Oh, it was terrible. It was. So I ended up making this out of craft board. Yes. So I, I told Becca, and Becca did the same thing today with an amazing member-only video coming up for you guys, Yeah. that it was kind of like a blessing in disguise that we had some issues because now I can say that you guys can make this with an Explore Air 2 or a Maker, yeah. which is really awesome. So that's how this came about, and it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle, yeah. So it's a puzzle. It's like those ones that you get uh, babies that, you know, it has the cutout, and it's yeah. sort of have a, has a little bit of depth in there, and then they put them in there. So, so basically, like, it's a foolproof puzzle for babies. Which is great. Or Becca's. Or Becca's. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, adorable. Absolutely love this. So all of it's craft board. Yeah. And I'll show it on the B cam yeah. if you want okay. to switch it over. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All of it, it the very, very back piece is um, chipboard and that's it. This, that's all. This. Yeah. That's chipboard. Yeah. So she no cutting involved no, with this. Just it's just a, a flat piece of chipboard. And mm -hmm. then this is craft board. Um, I'm going to pull it up there so you can see it has that dimension there just from the craft board. That's amazing. Um, and then this craft board with the cardstock, super cute. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and he's and got rain boots. I mean, look, come on. And we uh, decided, we can't decide if this is like a bandana or an ascot tie. We don't know. We don't know. But I whatever think, it is. I think he's sophisticated. He's and super it's an ascot tie. He's so sophisticated. Yeah, he's got rain so. boots on. Rain boots and ascot ties. I love it. Perfect. Perfect. For sure. And then this is just regular vinyl, yeah? Yeah, that's just vinyl on... Yeah, Look at us using regular vinyl. Look at us, guys. It's us. super cute, though. So adorable. I love Loved it. Loved it. Moving mm -hmm. on. We have this fun project. I love this. This is called Craft Foam? Yeah. Yeah. Craft yeah. Foam. Wasn't Cricut brand or anything like that. It's two millimeters thick. Awesome stuff. And there is a setting for craft foam. Yeah, craft foam. It's literally just craft foam setting. That's so it. So cute. Mm -hmm. I mean, these these were easy to make. Yeah. So easy. Yeah. I'm I'm planning on making them double sided, so whichever way you turn them, you can see them. You right. Know? Yeah, so that's my plan for those for sure. So as is, I mean, if you have children, babies who play in the bathtub, whatever, you know, they love foam things like this that they can put on the side and it just stays. And 
you know, talk to your little friends in the bathtub or whatever. So that was sort of, I guess, the the idea behind these. Yeah. And it's just so cute. Yeah. I love this. Because foam sticks to the bath wall yeah. like a magnet. It's awesome. So you guys can do a bunch. You can cut letters out of this if you want to use a font and cut letters. And well, I don't think we've ever worked with craft foam. So it was a really interesting thing to dive into. Yeah. There's multiple layers of vinyl going on. I'm going to show you in the video for it how you guys want to seal it, if you wanted to seal it, and all that good stuff. So, Are these print and cut eyeballs? No. No. It's oh layered. Oh my gosh, it's layered. Yeah, it's layered vinyl. That was a labor of love, friends. Look at those eyes. I it literally lines up thought, perfect for you. Yeah. It's so fun and easy. So before anybody freaks out, do not let your children play unsupervised in the bathtub with these in case the vinyl comes off. We don't want them to choke on them or stick them in their nose. I just want to say that. Obviously, you should not have your child in the bathtub unsupervised anyway. Amen. Disclaimer. Dis <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> yeah. Move it along. Move it along. <laughs> Love it. Um, let's do this one, this cute little garden flag, guys. This is so cute, look at this. You know, you guys know I love garden flags. I mean, how many garden flag projects have I done? A lot. Am I gonna stop? Absolutely not. So cute, and the funny part is, is I don't even have a garden flag in my yard. <laughs> I just love making them. Um, I don't have one either, but they're fun. I have one on my wall that I put felt on, so that sort of counts. I think it's down though, it's like a Valentine-y thing one. And then I made one for my, my uh, campsite that has my camper on it. I've made like a million of those because I have so many friends who got campers this year and then I yeah. had to make them. Anyway, so cute. So Happiness Blooms from Within is a new cut file. That right? is an old cut file. This is an old cut file. The new file that I used was the greenery and flowers from the wheelbarrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the wheelbarrow, like she said earlier, um, the wheelbarrow was, you know, below this cut file and she just, uh, did you have to slice them out or was it just I a did, separate I did, I sliced already? them out. It was okay. kind of a little bit wavy up on the wheelbarrow and I wanted to sit flat on the bottom of the flag. So I contoured a bunch of things and sliced a bunch of things to where I could have them down there. But just like Becca was saying, we can see things in certain SVGs that we know we want to use for other things. It's not just kind of, you know, one cut file for one project. You can use them so many different ways, which is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Is there a way to seal garden flags or any specific vinyl to use? Um, so we actually just use HTV and then you don't need to seal it. It stays on really well just like that. Yeah, uh, HTV is literally, it was manufactured to stick to cotton. So when you yeah. stick it to cotton canvas, you're good to go. So uh, my first uh, camping flag, because I said I didn't have one outside, but I do have the camping one, um, was vinyl like this. And it was on a not as sturdy, almost burlap type of material instead of the sturdy canvas. Um, in the rain, in the sun, you know, packed in heat for forever and then back out and all that. And it looked brand new until, you know, the day that I got rid of it. Yeah. So it, you don't need to sell it. It's amazing. Yeah, but it guys, what's so wonderful about this flag is do, 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 it's reversible. Double sided. That way you can just get joy from both sides. Yes. Look at this crazy plant lady cut file. So cute. And I love these roses. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? Can you see how they're, that was therapeutic to weed, guys? It oh, was a good day. My goodness, so pretty! I love this yeah. cut file. I think what matters most is that you guys use the same colors on both sides. So I didn't steer far from the colors. I use the same colors on one side as I did the other one, and it kind of just incorporates it together and makes the two sides look cohesive and not so crazy, you know. So that's a yeah. Good it's not like too. this one's Christmas and this one's Easter. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They same vibe, same color. Yeah. So cute. I love it. Is there a specific place you can buy garden flag blanks for a decent price? That's a good question. Do that you is. know, Rachel? Um, we always make ours. We do always make ours. So, Catherine, I know that 651 Vinyl has a ton of garden flag blanks, but they're not canvas. You have to put vinyl on them and not HTV, which is fine if you want to do that. But uh, this one and the ones that we usually you make we usually just cut with a rotary cutter from some canvas that we've bought on Amazon or at like the craft store or something yeah so they're really easy to just kind of cut you know would MGL be willing to create a document that helps us know the settings for different brand materials such as what setting to use on Hobby Lobby paper studio 12 by 12 paper or paper from Astro Brights so well, paper specifically you don't have to be as um as picky about no not honestly at all. we cut unless it's like a super 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 thin um 
paper or a cardstock that, and we have a brand new blade, we cut all of ours on heavy cardstock. We just do. To be or craft board. A thousand percent honest. Yeah, because it all cuts through. It's, you know, you don't yeah. really have to worry about that. Now, what you do have to be specific on is HTV and vinyl settings. You, yes. got, you just got to make sure you have the correct settings. But I do like that idea for, um, for materials that you might cut that aren't in, like, like, I would I say know. at least the ones that we cut. Because if we've cut it, then... Then we know. Yeah. Like, is it is it craft plastic that there isn't a setting for and we had to do our own? Like, the stencil... I'm trying to remember. Some of those settings... Yes. Or the even stencil, the ones, we had to choose transparency. Yes. Even the ones, like, that we made the bows with and things like that, that we used just random settings because we knew it would work. I think yeah. that's a really good idea. I think so, too. I like it. Yeah. I like it, Miss Carol. And... For all of you guys wanting to know specific questions about each of these projects, there will be a live stream mm -hmm. on all of these separately. So we're not going to drop any links or answer any super duper specific questions because there's going to be an hour long live stream on all of these amazing projects. So yeah. Yay. Yeah. I did see a couple of questions about the canvas, so I don't mind to answer that early. No. Before. Yeah. No, that's fine. Um, yeah. Somebody said they use a canvas drop sheet, which I really like that sure. idea. So the yeah. canvas that we have, um, we get it off the bolt from Hobby Lobby. So it's a massive sheet. I think it's like 60 inches in diameter. And then we just get like two yards or whatever, and it lasts and it's forever. Cheap. It's, it's very cheap, cheap mm -hmm. very affordable. And generally, you know, their materials are like 30% off or something. So it's even more affordable. I actually need to get some more of that. I need to put it on my list. Um, my paper rips and I, and I have to remake a bunch. Oh. Sounds like a blade problem. Yeah. Yeah. Or your mat's not sticky enough. Uh huh. Both of those could be issues for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay. Moving along. There's no answer or questions about that. It's so funny trying to diagnose. Oh people. yeah. Because I'm like, well, there are five instances where that could occur. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so we have this little lady here. Guys, she's a brown mermaid. Can you tell who this little brown mermaid is for? Fally. My little brown girl. Oh my gosh, so this is so fun. So like, I, we made this hooded poncho out of a, can I zoom out? You know, can, oh, there you go. <laughs> Look at that. Um, you can see part of the end it's of the okay. table. I'm sorry, it's friends. Fine. It's just real life. I wanted you to see the whole thing. This is just a towel from Walmart. And I this towel was like $3.97. And then this is a hand towel from Walmart. And it was like $2, 2 or $3. Um, and I just sewed it to this. And I'll show you guys all about that. You don't even have to be a good seamstress to learn how to do this. And I didn't have time, but I eventually want to add pom-poms all the way around the bottom of it. I think that would be so stinking cute. But Fallon is obsessed with this. She really loved it. And this image looks huge. So, because it is huge, but it's in, it's in several different sections so that you can make it larger. Like the overall finished image is larger than that. Which is awesome. So, oh, yeah. So, like, this right here, her hands are obviously wider than 11.5 inches, but I did them vertically so that I could cut the length of them instead right. of the width. Yeah. And then the tail the same way. Super fun. So, this is that mermaid cut file. And, of course, I just lopped the head off because Fallon's <laughs> head is the mermaid head. Yes, of course. And which then, is so, so <laughs> creative. And the splash. I got rid of the splash just because I didn't want the entire thing to be um canvas and you can i don't know if you can i don't remember i know if you remember or not but in the mermaid cut file she doesn't actually have this tail right here because all of the water is coming up so i was able to take two pieces of the water that were shaped this way and weld it to the tail to make a fin on the shut end of the tail. up right i love manipulating Back cut out. files friends there are always ways that you can do things like this um, so this is the first time that I used foil iron on. I really liked it. This is the first time I used glitter iron on. That glitter looks incredible. It is incredible, right? So what I think is really cool about this foil iron on is obviously like, you know, it, it's terry cloth, so it's like extra fibrous. I like how it grabbed onto it and it looks crinkled. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Yeah. I, I love like it. it. I, I do too. Now, Becca, Miss um, da, 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 Michaela uh -huh. said, did you use the 12 by 24 mat for the tail? Yes, I did. Sure did. So the width of this is uh, roughly nine and a half inches. So yep. it's nine and a half and then the length is 13. So, I mean, I could have even made it bigger. Yeah. 
Yeah. For sure. And Miss Carol said, can't you just see Fallon pretending to be a mermaid with this on? Well, so Becca got to take her photos with this I on. I did, yeah. And they're absolutely, they're like just better than what you imagined. She's so funny. She mm. kept coming and saying, Mama, is that for me? Every time I make something, she thinks it's for her. Yeah. Every single time. And so I liked being able to tell her that this was for, for yeah. her. Mommy, anyway. is that for me? That's is, adorable. Is that for me? It's so beautiful, Mom. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I okay. eat her. So we ended that project. What else do we have? Oh, this one. This string art. Let me zoom back in. Love it. Okay. So we have had some requests for autism awareness cut files. And which, we are, which we were so happy to incorporate. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I love that. We love spreading awareness, especially for things like this. Um... I loved this. Yeah. Uh, super fun. I love this cut file. I hated making this project. I'm not going to lie. I did hate it. But I, look how beautiful it is. Yeah, it is. it is. It really turned out good. I'm happy with how it turned out. So this wood is from Hobby Lobby. It was already cut out. Didn't have to worry about it. Um, and then I took the cut file. Well, first of all, I took this measurement, put it in design space, and then sized all this fun stuff up. And then uh, cut out the cut file and cardstock. Then I laid the cardstock down and started nailing all around the cardstock. Yeah, so it was like a template yeah. for her. Yeah. Pulled that cardstock off and zoom through there. Super That was fun. as quick as it took, too. What, a minute? That's as long as it took you to make it, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Like, oh, God, it was horrible. How long did it take out of curiosity? It was forever. It like now, I, just split it up into, I split it up into two days because it's I was true. so over it. It's true. It's true. You have to, you know, use a baby hammer. And, and get let me preface by saying I got really short nails, which was stupid because I can't hold them and hammer them at the same time. So I had to take pliers, hold the the nails, and hammer them in. So it took. I don't know. I definitely made it harder on myself than but I But it's so have. cute. And we love to, you know, shine a lot on the differently able because you know we love all. Yes. Absolutely. And, okay, Becca, we have a great question here. Um, hey, it's Tina here. Just found out I'm going to be able to join very soon. First <gasps> of all, congrats. We're so happy Amazing. for you. Amazing. Uh, her other part said, should I keep my Cricut Access membership? What would you recommend? And in parentheses, she says, I'm a newbie. You know, honestly, I feel like, uh, I feel like we're selling our product, and so... Obviously, we could give her an answer. I kind of want some of our members to answer her, though. Sure. I um, agree. That was yeah. a great... Who thing. have you had Cricut Access and Makers Going to Learn? And do you still have Cricut Access? Did you say sayonara? I no longer need you. Yeah. Do you feel like... Let me know. Honest opinions. Miss Tina wants to know. So, Miss Tina, be watching out in the comment section um, for some of our amazing members to give you their upfront and honest opinions on that. But that's a great question. I love that Becca wanted you guys to answer that, too. Yeah, Super well, good. yeah. Yeah. I mean, I want an unbiased opinion for sure. Cause we're we're not never, biased. We have. I personally have never had cricket access. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, why? Like I've looked at files and stuff. But I've never had it because I've never needed it. Yeah, same. So I don't know. Okay, a lot of people have both. Mhm. Mm yeah. Get both to start out with. Yeah, that's fine. They, they beat us in the amount of cut files that they've got, of course, yeah. because they've got, I don't even know how many thousand. Um, but we offer, like, the training and the fonts and, you know, the Facebook group and things that it just doesn't offer. We're not saying one is just, oh, my God, better than the other one. You'll never need Cricut Access It's ever. different. It's, it's different. It's kind of, you know, you can't really compare them because one, you just get files, and then another one, you get files and fonts and a lot more but if you want the Cricut Access I mean it's fine what is it, like ten dollars a month ten dollars you know? uh -huh. ours is fifteen a month and you do get you know a lot more or if you want to go yearly it's what is that twelve ninety nine a month yeah it's a it's a great price guys but anyways just let's let those comments I, I keep a rolling the only reason that comes to mind for me specifically specifically to use uh, Cricut Access mm -hmm. in addition is their writing fonts good yes yeah. Becca yeah yes so that is definitely a perk. Yeah, because Cricut is the only uh, person who has those writing fonts. Any any third party sellers cannot have writing fonts. It's not that we don't try. It's just that's a software that only Cricut has access to. We, you know, that's fine. Everyone needs their thing. You know. Mm -hmm. Somebody said they keep it for savings on Cricut orders. How much? What savings do you get on Cricut orders? I am curious. Yeah. Yeah. I, both really I don't know. Go. I love how you guys are so helpful. That is. 
That's amazing. You yeah. guys are amazing. Okay. So, yes, we love this project. It was a labor of love. See oh, what I did there? Oh, we're getting corny. Oh, I love a good cheesy, yeah. Mom okay. joke. Is it a mom joke? I think it's a dad joke. Is it a dad joke? Well, you're a mom. Is that a yeah, mom it's joke? It's true. And then this project. Oh, my gosh, guys. Rachel did this project. It is so flipping cute. Actually, you know what? Rachel did all these projects, but two. That's only because Miss Becca is going to be working her tail off for the cut file release in two weeks. So y'all just wait for that because you're just going to die. Yeah, it's adorable. I'm super excited. Guys, this is so stinking cute. It is 10% off. You guys get 10% off if you keep... Um, okay. Cricut access. Including machines, Judy said. Wow. Well, if you want a dang new machine, shoot ya. By the way, guys, we have a Cricut affiliate link. If you use um, our Cricut affiliate code, it's code MGL20. Mm-hmm. Then you get 20% off of non-electrical cricket stuff. Yeah. So, get that for sure. Because yeah. 20 is better than 10. Anyway, um, this, I love this cut file. So flipping cute. And then uh, Rachel added the font here, the beautiful. And then, guys, th this is colored on. It's fabric markers yeah so like a kid's dream like honey do you want to color on your shirt today yeah so cute i'm a little wary like we're gonna make this live today who's excited what you get a release you get product um viewing and you get a project, a project all in guys one. you're spoiled oh i love it and speaking of spoiled like our members are um, Becca, Miss Tina says, do you sell machines or products? We do not. We, we sell digital products, yes. but they're kind of like e-courses. We're all about training you guys how to use your, your machines. Uh -huh. So that's kind of what we specialize in is teaching you all from opening your Cricut to like literally selling what you make, being a professional business. We teach you how to do everything in that realm. Um, we have commercial licensing and you know all, the, all those fonts and e-courses and all kinds of stuff. So it's an amazing community over here, but we, we don't sell crickets though. As much as we love them, we, we wouldn't be able to do what we do without the machine, but we don't sell them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anywho, love this project. Let's jump into making it. We're going to design space, friends, because whoop, whoop. we're making a project. Whoop, whoop. I'll flip over to okay. Tanner's Mac Mini. Tanner's says. Mac Mini. We need to change that. MGL. 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 I guess my computer would work if I turned it on. Okay. So over in design space, let's pray that it actually works today. My projects. Uh, that's not the one I want. I think it is, yeah. No. I'm going to... I did this over here because I want to show them. This is the finished project. Oh. This is finished project. Okay. Perfect. This is unfinished project. Okay. Just like this. And then, oh, let's just go back. Let's go back. Oh, gee. Come on now, Becca. Oh, Becca. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14. I'm embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed, Rachel. You're I tried very so thorough. Hard. I love it about I you. I tried so hard to say that. You have no idea. That is how cruddy Design Space is being, though. But did you guys it see? It didn't show any of those on Becca's laptop, on the None desktop here, on my laptop. And I thought, I literally worked for an hour and a half on this seagull project. I cannot not Horrible. save it. I almost no. died. No, I love it. So, um, I don't know where I was going with this. Yeah, 14. 14 oh, here. I'm just... It's good. Oh. Mm. Anyway, I hope you all are happy with that project because oh oh yeah, yeah, yeah. did you guys see there is a scheduled maintenance for Design Space? I'm hoping they get us our delete button. Back. See, Beck is Beck is concerned about the delete button. I'm most I was concerned, concerned about, about the I don't care about the ten project. hours that I wasted on my project. <laughs> so if they could work that out, that'd be peachy. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, right here we have this wonderful cut file. This is the cut file exactly how it imports. And I want to show you, um, obviously we need to slice out the middle so that someone can color them in. Um, so I just wanted to show you, there are so many different ways to do everything, guys. You could slice each one of these individually. Um, you could contour them. You could slice them all at the same time. You know, just so many different ways. I'm going to show you my favorite way to do it and then you guys can do it however you want to. So the first thing that I want to do is just uh, ungroup it up 
here in the top right, I'm gonna ungroup it, and then I'm just gonna grab uh, this layer and duplicate it. And then I'm gonna pull it over here to the side. I'm it really doesn't matter which, which, which one, one you yeah. Take. They're yeah. all basically shaped the same way. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm going to contour and then I'm going to get rid of two of them just so that I have this one left. Now what I want to do is come up here and select the entire thing and I'm going to press weld. So now it's going to be one layer instead of however many, I don't even know, probably 10 or more. Then I'm just going to take this little guy, size him down and put him in, oh, let's send him to the front. So we'll right click, send to front. And then we're going to size it in the middle. Uh, you can leave as much or as little um, outline as you want all around. So I'm just going to duplicate and we're going to rotate a little bit here. And then let's see here, just size. We're going to do all of these. And as you can see, these little uh, have the swoosh kind of to the right. And these over here are swooshing to the left. So what we need to do uh, for them is just duplicate and then come up here to the top where it says flip and press flip vertical. And then when we do that, our little swooshy goes the other way. Just and we have a great question. Let's hear the up. question. Okay. Uh, Buttercup Creations says, ladies, do you have to pay the entire amount up front of Makers and Learn in order to get $12.99 a month, which means she is inquiring about our yearly membership. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is a one-time, it's, it's a uh, one-time fee build. It's a, yeah, build one time annually. I don't know why I could not get that out. Um, so yes, the question is, or the answer is yes. Yeah, and that's also why you guys get all those bonuses, why you guys get the extras, you guys get those three free e-courses, the commercial license, all the fonts, you guys get a ton of bonuses because you invest in us for a whole year, so we invest right back in you and give you all a ton of bonuses that are not included with the other tiers of membership. Correct. So you guys pay the least amount of money to get the most amount of resources, right. which is awesome. Rachel is talking way more eloquently than me today, so thank you for that, Rachel. I don't know why. Oh, it's because Becca was filming videos today. You get fried when you film. I only did one. Everybody kind of gets fried a little bit, and that's not to say they're unenjoyable. I, we love filming our videos, but for some reason, it's like, I don't know. You know how when you get in a swimming pool and you're all of a sudden hungry? It's like when you start oh, filming and you're worst. all of a sudden tired. You're yeah. like, wow. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, you guys get the idea. We're just going through here and placing all of these um, and sizing them, kind of, you know, uh, um, contorting them so that it feels nicely in there. They don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be perfect, uh -uh. no. Um, so then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pretend like this is completely finished over here on the left because it is completely finished. Um, and then I'm going to move it over here. So I could go through and select this and select this and contour each one individually because you can only contour two layers at a time, or not contour, slice. Mm -hmm. You can only slice two layers at a time. Um, so what I'm going to do is minimize this for just a second and I want to select all of this. Shut. Weld it together up. because it's one layer now. I'm then gonna, I'm going I'm gonna, to- I'm gonna pass out. Yeah, yeah, do that. Now we have two layers. We can select all of this, press slice, Delete this because we don't need it. And delete this because we don't need it. Voila. Guys. Super ha fun. Have you ever have you ever felt stupid? Stop because <laughs> because I do. Stop it. Speka Oaks. I hate you a little right now. <laughs> Look, you are so freaking smart. Stop it. I'm an idiot. No, guys, you're I'll not. Oh my gosh. One. If I did it live with it, I'd be like, okay, guys, one by one, we're going to click <laughs> slide. No, that's why I said from the very beginning, there are so many different ways that you can do this. Becca, you're the best. I'm so glad Stop you did it. this one. Oh, good. Thank guys, you. Look how much easier this is. Okay. You're going to make me blush. Well, now let's grab a text box and we're going to write B. And let's see here, what font did we use? We used Wonderful Abyss for the beautiful. Lori, it blew my mind too, and I'm the one who made the flipping thing. So listen, Stop. I'm about to just fall over my chair. <laughs> so we have B right here, and I wanna just turn this down a little bit, make it a little bit closer, and then we'll size up. We can get the sizing finished in just a second. And then I want to duplicate this. 
so that I can write T-I-F-U-L just like that and then let's duplicate again and then we're gonna change this to say you and I really like how Rachel changed the font so that you really st stands out um, so she changed the font from wonderful abyss to flourish so we're gonna grab flourish like this oh that's lowercase was it oh that's cute I like that's adorable it's not often that my mind is blown. I just can't really get over this. Oh my gosh, stop. I can't really get over this right now. Stop. Mm, I'm having problems. <laughs> so we're gonna size this bigger. I like how it's bold. And you can even make it even bigger if you wanted to. So that was really like, I don't know how you did it. I'm just gonna kind of pretend like I know. Um, she just welded the whole thing and then. Stop it, Rachel. And then one slice and then stop. I almost cried over this project and I could have done it in one <laughs> slice. No. She's so smart. But you'll know next time. Because I'm learning. I'm learning here. You'll know I'm next honored. Time. Stop. Why can't I get this? Uh, I love Our this arrow buttons are not working right now. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? <laughs> what? Maybe it's out of battery. Maybe I need to charge it. It's not, I can't flipping. Try and click it on the layers panel, what happens? Okay, that's a good idea. Look, Rachel taught me. It's, it's just We're a give and take. It it's a give and take today. I love it. Oh my goodness, this is, this is fun. Okay. Guys, please everyone bombard Tanner's email and tell him. <laughs> I hate this keyboard. It's tell him it's very distracting. Oh, what, what are you gonna do? To the customer service team. Back no, no, no. Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Do not God do that. Love him. Just do his, pers his personal Facebook. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Becca. Don't do that either. I'm gonna get fired. No. <laughs> oh God. Moving right along. Is it Friday yet? Um, Tomorrow. I'm finished with you. So I'm gonna press weld because I want it all one layer. I'm so sorry, you guys. I feel so silly right now. You think you feel silly. And then uh -huh. I just wanna come up here, bring this up here, and then size it however I want. I actually really like that. Um, so then what I would do, because I want all of this one layer, unless you wanted it two layers and two different colors, uh, you'll want to weld it. Or you could do one glitter or Ooh, something like that. Glitters. <gasps> that would be so pretty to do the tail glitter. Like, oh, it would. Oh, it would have been so in. pretty. Too bad I already cut it out. Anyway, press make it. We are using iron on, so make sure that you mirror. Oh, I didn't even, I did not even um, talk about sizing this thing. Um, so obviously what you're gonna wanna do is, bye-bye um, Becca's <laughs> rays. <laughs> Carol. <laughs> Yeah. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, no. The funny no. part is I'll tell on myself. I'll totally like after this I'll be like, Hey Tanner, <laughs> you might you might be getting some extra email. <laughs> because I Because I up. hate our keyboard. I up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway. Okay, so I'm using a small um this is a youth small shirt. So I'm just gonna measure um the space on the shirt and kind of get an idea how big I want it. Um, I'm going to switch the camera over so they can perf. see your hands work on that little t-shirt too. Know, I Look know. at that little shirt. Look at this cutie. I never work with baby shirts. Very cute. Little baby shirts. Um, so personally, this one's a little bit challenging to me because it's long and skinny. Um, and I generally like my shirts to either be, you know, kind of this way or more square and less skinny and narrow, if that makes sense. Um, so it was hard for me to kind of decide. So what I ended up actually doing is taking the tail and mushing it a little bit so that it was shorter. Um, but I know like Fallon's little chest is not huge, so I don't want it to be like this big and wrapping around her body. Um, so I, I think I just did six inches as the width um, and then let the length just be whatever the length is according or um, in uh, with the ratio of six inches. So it is for Fallon. Heather, you're totally right. And so I'm gonna take these markers home later. I'm gonna do one so that you guys can see how easy it is. And then I'm gonna let her color it. And I'm, I actually said to Rachel, I wonder how smart of an idea this is that I'm gonna let her do this because now she's gonna to wanna to like color on all of her clothes. 
Because that's how my child is. But I think that we can teach moderation. She's super smart. You can so. only color on this shirt. Yeah. We'll see. And Hopefully. I'm sure Becca would talk about it, so I'm sorry I'm, I'm, sorry I'm stealing your thunder. But uh, for this one, I bought fabric markers. Ooh, good, yeah. But you all can use, uh, like, washable fabric markers. I bought the ones that kind of stay, so you color it and then leave it. Yeah. But you guys can buy the ones that um, can, will wash out, so, like, your kids can rewash them and recolor them over and over. Both of those are in the description if you want either of them. I love it. Are you done in design space? I meant to ask. Uh, yeah. Are you? Sure. Okay. I'm going to switch over then. Thank you, ma'am. Of course. What tip do we want? 340, 350? What's, what are um, we feeling? 315 is usually what cotton goes on. Is it? With HTV. <clears throat> it is. You you know, you have a fancy book over there. Yeah, I do. That, I um, do. Let's reference that. That's a great book. Okay. Included with membership, guys. Shameless plug. <laughs> We're not even shameless, like, whatever. Okay, so this is our awesome Cricut printable guide, and I, I put a little uh, behind-the-scenes thing on our um, Instagram the other day. If you guys don't follow our Instagram, go do it. I, I love our Instagram. Uh, I, I just looked up and saw Carol's post about Bye Bye Becca's Race, and that's just really getting me in the heart, Carol. Maybe you could advocate for my what? race. Becca, are you kidding me? I'm joking. I'm totally joking. I'm not I'm, worried about I'm my not worth. <laughs> No, listen to Caddy's comment. Listen to Caddy. <laughs> Let's hear it. Caddy said, he can't fire you. You all are too entertaining, and he can't afford to lose either of you. <laughs> so does that make you feel better? Because it makes me feel better. Just locked in that race. <laughs> <laughs> we went from on thin ice to just climbing that mountain. A necessity. It would, he would fold without us. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Cricket printable guide. I did something on Instagram showing that even we referenced this guy because I used Sportplex iron on the other day, which I never use, um, and totally forgot what temperature to set my um, Easy Press on. So, our Cricut printable guide is amazing. It gives you a glossary of terminology that um, is used in Design Space. So, if you're a newbie, this is particularly wonderful. This um, resource, along with how many other printable guides do we have? Oh my gosh, T ten. So many other ones is available free for all members, monthly, yearly, whatever. So, go check it out. It's under your dashboard when you log into your account on Maker's Gonna Learn. Um, and you can check it out. And then it has uh, your blade chart. It has cutting mats and what materials to use on those cutting mats. It has um, our easy press temperature chart, which is what I'm looking at right now. Iron on cotton. Am I reading that right? It says 340. That's for iron on designs. You're on the wrong page. What's iron on design? Oh, why is it different? Maybe that was my problem. The there you other go. Day. Everyday iron on, iron on live. Yeah, on three fifteen. You're mm -hmm. right. Look at that, Rachel's right. I'm, I'm still trying to make up for her one Stop slicing it. my uh, quit a peacock tail, so I'm gonna keep <laughs> keep hitting her with them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep it even around here. And then we have some more terminology moving right along. Um, cheat sheets. Mm -hmm. I've never looked at these. They're, they're great for beginners. Yeah, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Guys, what a resources for, resource for newbies. Oh, my goodness. Very cool. If you guys don't have this already, go ahead and download it. Um, you can. It's in PDF format, so you can save it to your desktop, your phone, whatever. If you don't want to print it out, then just save it and reference it um, from your favorite device. But we are ready now that the Easy Press has heated up, and I'm going to put this guy in my shirt here just like this and tina do we seal it afterwards no mm -hmm. you don't have to don't have to you can keep washing it with some washable markers or you can use those fabric markers which it should i think the colors will be lighter when it's washed uh, than the yeah, ones you saw because I hadn't washed that shirt. I just colored it in. Well, and that's the thing I was going to say before. I haven't done this, so I'm eager to see what happens. Um, but you should definitely pre-wash your shirts. Dry them if you dry them. That way they shrink down um, good. And do not use um, fabric softener on your shirt when you're washing it. So definitely take the steps to prep your shirts before... Um, you apply the iron on. Uh, so I just ironed that out because as you saw, it was a little bit wrinkly. 
I don't want that up that high. I was trying to let me pull this down. And shameless plug, if yeah. you guys would like to know uh, the size and where to place uh, decals on shirts, we have a guide for that too. Yes, so. it's amazing. Yes, the paint pens, they're just markers. I'll show you Heather, in a second too. But they are linked down below, ma'am. Rachel, you can see better than me. Is that correct? It's crooked. But it's like the, is this good? Does it need to come down? It's good to me, yeah. It, it's tricky because the peacock, you want to yeah. look at the peacock because the peacock's not centered, but his tail is centered. So it's, you know. This is one of those ones that you kind of just need to eye and whatever like looks good, whatever is, you know what I'm going to do? Hmm? Where's the scissors? Cutting this guy off. And then I'm going to move this over. And Rebecca, I did answer your question. However, I highly recommend purchasing this Easy Press mat, um, the biggest one, the 16 by 20. Even if you don't have an Easy Press and you're still using household iron, just dropping some dough on that mat will go ahead and make your projects more successful. It's incredible. How do we feel about this? Is that better? Did I make it worse? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm going with it. I like it. Now yeah. we are ready to apply heat. Ugh. There's my go button. Super fun. Um, so guys, this is the, what is this, the nine by nine? The nine by nine easy press. There mm -hmm. is a larger one. I totally could have used that and then got all of this in one fell swoop. However, ours doesn't like to retain heat very well. So I wanted to use this one. Um, and well, this one's not retaining the heat either. It's at 300. Mine at home I have zero problems out of. Big Papa don't like to hold the heat. Yeah. And I have the huge one at home. I have the huge one and I have the little easy press, the little bitty one. So I'm just gonna pick it up and put it over here. Since this is iron on, I can overlap. It will not hurt it. If I were to do that with um, infusible ink, I, you would not like the results because it makes it darker. So it would be darker in spots than the other. So don't do that with infusible ink, but with iron on, it's totally fine to do that. You're not gonna burn it. You're not gonna melt it. Um, have I missed any questions? I don't think so. Miss Joanne was wanting uh, some quick font pairing. Like if we shot some out. Mm -hmm. um, What's the theme for the party? That's a good question. Yeah. Oh, it's a fifth grade graduation, but yeah, do you have like a, a theme or anything like that, Miss Joanne? Oh, oh I, why do I think birthday? Well, because she's making a cake topper, so the first thing you think of when you eat cake is birthdays. Ew. I like cake. I'm down for some cake. Hey, Rachel, my birthday's coming up. Oh, I know it is, Becca. And do you know what I really love? You love Your cake! You love cake. Oh, you love my cake. Your cake. I think I can make that happen. Look how easy this is. So, I mean, done. And then you just done. have to color it in. And I want to show you these markers. I'm going to color one in for you. Although Fallon's going to be really mad she's when I bring this home mad. and one of them is colored. Like, she, she's going to be really mad. It's okay. It's and okay. you know what? I didn't bring any cardstock in here. So I am going to use. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. See, see, we're about even now. <clears throat> okay, I think so too. I think so. Good. So just put something hard under here. You could use a book or whatever. Um, something that is not going to seep through because you don't want it seeping through on the other side of the shirt either. What I got on the shirt. I got something. Where are the markers? Here they oh, are. and I also had a bad habit of shaking the markers because when you shake them, more of the ink flows down so you can get a deeper color. But I, I got a little crazy and then got some splotches on my shirt because I was just like that, you know? So if you're gonna do that, then just do it kind of like under the table or in a trash can or something. Just don't be Rachel there. That is a good pointer. Mm -hmm. Are Thanks. these from Amazon? Thanks. They are. Are yeah. they linked? They are indeed. Okay, so I have never things. used these. I have no idea. I didn't make the other shirt, and so we're experiencing this together. Yeah, My Tulip is a great brand. This is what we get oh, for it all is. of our tie dyes and everything yeah. like that. Tulip is great. I'm gonna start with green because green's my favorite color, and then I'm just gonna do a teeny tiny. No, I'm not. I'm gonna do a bigger one. Wow. I was gonna say you teeny tiny your so that mine off the fast. Me. Yeah. Teeny tiny? No, I'm not. Well, because I wouldn't be able to see it. Guys, Fallon is a really good colorer. Like, really good. She's three. And I'll be completely honest, Beckett hates coloring. So, I haven't really pushed the issue with Fallon. Um, come to find out, she's really good at it. And 
Um, I'm eager to see what this looks like. And let me tell you what Becca does that I'm totally stealing when I have kids. Oh, Sorry, Becca. Okay. She takes her children to like a pottery place here in town. We have mm. pink pig pottery. So it's where like your children get to like paint the potter and then they go in the kiln and then you have to pick it up a, a mm-hmm. week or so later. Mm-hmm. Um, Becca <laughs> will make her children like paint or draw or do something on these. And like dishes, like dish sets, guys, that Becca gets to use in their keepsakes forever. And literally, I'm so sentimental. I just gravitated towards that and I cannot wait to make my children do that because guys, that's incredible. I know that everyone thinks that their kids are like the best artists. And my kids are horrible artists, but they can <laughs> finger paint. Okay, yeah. They can finger print and they can make really pretty. I'll post a picture in the Facebook group Please so you guys do. can see it. It like it's gorgeous. It now, is. if you like color, if you don't like color, like my sister, well, even my sister loves these and she doesn't like color. They're just so beautiful. I have made them do appetizer plates from the entire setting on my table, and then like a big cookie tray, and then found a little hen, all kinds of things. They do they're really good. Anyway, oh, that, that was so hen. easy. Back, you have to post a picture of the hen. I think I have my phone. Right here. Let, Let me tell you guys, it. they're so. Stinking cute. So cute. I could just die. But I'm yeah, right I'm doing that. And like, I've seen this Pinterest one of uh, you put your baby's butt in orange paint and then set their little butts on a plate and then it's a pumpkin. That's adorable too. This is the hen that Fallon did. And the plates and the cups that they make look a whole lot like this. Look. Just splattered and finger paint. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. And then it came with little feet. Yeah. I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. I said... When, it, when we picked it up, fa- Beckett did a train, which was a train wreck, but he loved it. Um, and so we picked it up, and I said, Fallon, can Mommy put this in the living room for a little bit? And she was like, sure. And it's been there for months. And she's never getting it back. No. Mm-hmm. Like, it's mine. She's mine. Anyway, that was super... Um, oh, Rachel, does that mean we can expect a baby Rachel sometime soon? Oh, gosh. I hope it doesn't get a ton from me. But um, in a year or two, two years, three years, something like that, two or three years... Probably. I've always said five years after marriage, I think I'll be ready. And we're almost two years in. So, a little while longer. A little while longer. I have a gorgeous uh, goddaughter who was born. She'll be one in July next month. So, I've got to fawn off of her and kind of get my baby fever out on her for a while. Mm-hmm. So, that's going to, what do you call it? That's going to hold me over for a while. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. But I, I do want kids. If God will let me. Absolutely. Rachel's going to be an awesome mom. You know what? And oh, my Tanner gosh. Too, oh, my gosh. I, seriously. Tanner, I just said the other day, Tanner came out of his mom ready to be a dad. Like, Tanner just has that way about him with kids. Like, well, kids, kids are gravi- drawn to him. He they has gravitate this energy. To him. Yeah. And he has that energy, and he's, he's just fun, and he's loud, and he's, you know, all with the kids, and he'll get down and roll around with it. You know, I mean, he's everything a kid wants. And he just, it's like Tanner is his truest self with children. It's and amazing. It's, it's great. Uh, one of my favorite memories of Tanner, and I have a picture of him even, it was, um, I, it was right before I started working here. I started here November 4th, but uh, Halloween, we went to his house to trick-or-treat. Uh, because their neighborhood is amazing for trick-or-treating. But went to the front door... My kids just walk in. Like, we hadn't really made a plan to stay there, um, but my kids just walk in. The next thing I know, they're in the kitchen with Tanner, and Tanner has this massive thing of full-size candy bars and is, like, just throwing them in (laughs) their bag. I finally just say, Tanner, you have to stop. (laughs) Like, he had, each of them had, like, eight full-size candy bars. But I have a picture of him because he was more excited than they were. That's going to torture Becca later. All those candy that that would that would be sugar highs for Becca to deal with. Yeah, for sure. Anyway, but you can't help it. They were ugh, Aladdin and Jasmine for Halloween. Like they were the cutest thing. And then Fallon, it was cold. It got cold, and you know, like you know, Jeannie, not Jeannie. Good grief. Um, Jasmine. Jasmine's little costume. So a little <laughs> bit of her belly was showing, like her arms was like sheer, and she was cold. And we were handing out candy, and she basically refused to put something over her Jasmine costume because she knew she was gorgeous. She's a trooper. So finally, we were like, "You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to get a little warmer." But listen, she, I love, I love those kids. They're hysterical. Uh, can you use the regular Cricut brand markers? Um, no, you can't. You have to use fabric markers. 
um, or those washable fabric markers. I do not think those Cricut pins would be good. I don't really know what happens to those when you put those on a shirt. I don't. I, don't I think know. they would run. And like I'm just when gonna you say, you, you, those things are so pricey. Do not waste those on this shirt. And the tip of them is so fine. I think it would ruin the tip first of all, and then I think it would take quite a bit of time to actually color mm -hmm. in on these. Mm -hmm. the, the fibers of the shirt would ruin it. Anyway, do we have any questions about this? We have so, we have segued into so many different conversations. I love it. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Love that. it. I don't think so. Everybody seems to be super happy with all the amazing projects that we've shown them today. Fantastic. So if you have enjoyed these projects and you have enjoyed um, our new cut files, we obviously want to encourage you, if you are not a member of Makers Gonna Learn, to go to our website, makersgonnalearn.com, and become a member so that you can craft with us using our cut files and fonts and benefit from all of the other other amazing resources that are available to our members. Um, you just have to do it. We want you to do it. We want you to be a part of our wonderful Makers Gonna Learn community. We have so much fun with you guys, crafting, chatting, doing live, being friends. I do consider you guys friends. Uh, it's it's an honor, really, guys. This has it been is. the best six months. Uh, I've been working with Makers Gonna Learn for six months. It's been the best six months. Such a rewarding, fulfilling job. Um, and who knew, making crafts, my goodness. Uh, the best yeah. ever. Who knew? I mean, the you best. guys are awesome. You are our extended family. You care about us so much. You care about our lives. You, you know, you, it's, it doesn't get any better than this. When people ask me what I do, it, it blesses me to tell them about you guys because you guys are awesome. And we couldn't have asked for like a better community. There, I know it's that. It's true. And Becca likes to say in the Facebook group, she's deep in the Facebook group a lot too, that we have over 6,000 members in there uh -huh. and they're chatting and everyone is so nice and polite yeah. and loving and we all love each other. And you can find Facebook groups where there's some mean comments that you have to, you, like you have to go in there and delete some comments and moderate and make mm -hmm. sure everybody's behaving. But you guys, it's like family, like what in the world? We've never had a problem. You guys have just been so amazing. So one thing that I was concerned about, I, I worked, um, for those of you who don't know my background, I worked managing a large salon and spa. Uh, for eight years before this and so obviously I had relationships with a lot of our um, clients there uh, really good relationships long-term relationships and so I was afraid that I would miss that um, I would miss the you know just connectivity uh, and all of that but you guys have really just replaced that and it's amazing uh, to have that connection um, and just be a part of this community it really is wonderful makers gonna learn makes it possible you guys make it possible and crafting just unites all of us, which I really love. It does. Crafting is, is love languages for a lot of different people. Yeah. It's an awesome uh, stress reliever. For sure. It is. So, guys, get your membership. Yep. Get your Summer Summit ticket, which is yep. 20 bucks I off I didn't even today. mention that. It's okay. It's coming up, though, next month, guys. Yes. 20 bucks off using code MAKE. Get your design make sale if you want to build that business, mm -hmm. which is awesome, you know? If you're a first time viewer, please subscribe to our page here, makersgonnalearn.com, and turn on notifications so that you know when we are going live, we go live or post a video every day or every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come craft again with us today, and we will see you Monday. Have a good day.